In today's video, I'm going to do a quick overview of my average down calculator that I've set up on my website. So if you've invested in the stock market, you know, if you're if your stocks are down and you want to know, you know, how much you need to invest to get down to a, a lower average, this is for you. So the intention is that, you know, let's say you've made, made an investment, hasn't gone particularly well, especially this year when a lot of a lot of stocks are down. And you want to know, you know, is it worth averaging down? How much would you need to spend? So I'm going to use Netflix as an example, just because this has been a, a unfortunately a brutal stock this year. So it's gone from you know around six hundred dollars down to about one hundred ninety ninety three right now. So let's pretend you know we invested ten thousand dollars at around you know five hundred dollars uh, a share, right? So the amount we invested is ten thousand dollars, and at an average price of 500, we bought 20 shares, right? Today's price, let's say 193, and I'm gonna click update. And so how it works is it's gonna tell you how much you need to invest. So it's gonna jump by increments of $1,000. So there's 20, 20 data points on here. And then the number of shares you need to buy and what your new average would be. So if your average price was $500, then investing $1,000 at this current price will get you down to 436, right? So obviously the more you invest at the lower price, the more you can bring your average down. For instance, investing $10,000, you'd have to you'd buy 50 you'd own 51 51 more shares, and then your new average price would then be $278.51. And so I'll do a, a quick some quick math just to prove this out. So let's say a $10,000 investment at 193, that's where we got 51.81 shares. And then our total investment would be you know, 10,000 plus another 10,000, so $20,000, divided by you know, the 20 existing shares plus the new shares of 51.81. Just give us 71.81 shares in total. And then we divide, we we'll take 20,000 divided by that, we get that average of 278.51. So that's how that works. Now, what you could also do is instead of entering the current share price, you can just put in a hypothetical price to say, okay, if let's say Netflix falls to $180, right? Click on update. And now this, this will update for you as well to say, okay, these are now the new values of what you'd have to invest. So you can use this as sort of a what a quick what if analysis. Let's say 175, you know, let's see if it spikes up to, to 200. You know, is it worth investing in? If you're going to invest $1,000, you know, is that enough of a, an improvement in your average that it makes it worth your time? So please, if you have a chance, try it out. And, uh, you know, please leave any feedback that you have. This is sort of something I've been working on an ongoing process to make this as, as easy as possible to use. The intention is, you know, just to, just to create a useful tool that, that people would would benefit from and use and i've tried to make it a, a simple domain to a simple url to remember how to excel.net slash adc for average down calculator so please give it a try and you know if you ha have a moment let me know your thoughts and what you think